what's up guys today we have a whole lot of nut cups we have i don't know i lost count <laughs> but uh yeah i'm just a nut for nut cup so we're gonna be doing a nut cup comparison here and i believe there's another nut cup in here so we're gonna look inside of this casey toolbox first and then we'll be doing a nut cup off i guess i don't know <laughs> just a little uh video idea i thought of so uh Let's uh, get on to it. Let's get inside this Casey toolbox and uh, see what we got inside. All right. And first off, let's start off with a little bit of thanks. And yeah, it is a, another Philo number two. Very nice to have these. Every time you order from Casey Tools, they give you a little bit of thanks. Let's move this nut cup over here. And looks like we have big deal. It might be old though. Oh yeah, December 31st, that's an old one. <laughs> Next up we have another flyer. This one is, I believe the last promotion. Kind of looks familiar with the stubby nut drivers there. And still got the bottle opener round a bottle opener screwdriver there pretty cool and we have another nut cup uh oh this one's a little frayed on the end here but it is the 1973 hazette let's stack that up with the other nut cups here i got the leaning tower of nut cups now <laughs> see what else we got here I believe that is it let's toss the box to the side we have a super long ziplock bag here right here we have quarter inch extensions and three eighths extensions all right, took the tags off. Uh, I'm not gonna go over the part numbers or anything. I'm not gonna go too deep on the part numbers because uh, all you gotta do is just enter Vera extensions on KC Tools and they'll show up uh, very easily. They're all, all of them will show up. There is quarter inch, three eighths, and there's half inch on locking and non-locking. So I didn't get the half inch because I felt they were a little bit too bulky. Uh, I've seen them in stores and stuff and it's just, yeah, they're a little too bulky. So quarter inch and half inch is what we're gonna show you today. And um, yeah, basically the small one, I think it's a 75 millimeter, it's a three inch. And next size up is a six inch. We have the five inch on the smallest one on the three eighths and then the eight inch on the longer one. And I don't believe there's anything longer anywhere else. Casey Tool is pretty good at stocking everything that Vera makes. They're available in locking and lawn locking. So that's the other options of that. So, uh, quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, locking and non-locking. And then uh, let's look at the three eighths right here. We have a button that's easy to press on the green, which is unlock and kind of hard to press on the red, but it's still in use, so it might wear down over time. Uh, some of the paint is chipping on some of them on the red, uh, just to let you know on that. But yeah, easy to push the green and hard to push the red. That's how they have them designed here. Let's try a socket. I don't have a Vera socket with me right now. So green, that's a little difficult to put in. That's eh, not too bad on this on this one. But red, you unlock it or lock it. Yeah, it's a red mean stop, lock it. And it holds very well on a different style socket. So good to know on that. And uh, yeah. Plenty of beef there, so you're not gonna have strength issues going on. So we're fully locked now. The long ones have two sleeves, the short ones have one sleeve. They ride on a little groove, so you can remove them and clean them and uh, remove them if you don't want them on there. The sleeves are nice for this reason right here. Awesome knurling on the end for a thumb wheel action if you're not using a ratchet, but if you are using a ratchet, you get this action with the sleeve. And you also have another sleeve on this model right here, which is cool. This is the 8000B Vera drivers, the 3 8 And uh, nice action like this with your thumb wheel on the end, holding it this way or down here or further down on the longer one, which is nice. Pretty cool. Everything is locked. This pushes it forward to unlock it. So 
There's the lock action there. There's your broaching on the 3 8 Pretty cool. And let's try the other ratchet here. This is the 8004 B. B is all 3 8 So everything that says B is the 3 8 And yeah, fitment on there. There's your wobble on that. And let's try with the different make here. This is an Astro compact head, long ratchet, and um, a little loose on that, but it still locks. So this is the locking ratchet that's non-Vera here. Just in case if you wanna get these for different uh, brands, there you go. Everything is nicely locked on that. And there we have the 3 8 not bad. So just gotta keep in mind, not to bump the green here, which is unlock, and it doesn't stick out too far anyway, so I don't believe you're gonna have too much problems in situations. It's gonna bump it easily, and then I'll have the socket fall out. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the only thing on the downfall on this, and maybe the sleeve, if you get too much grease and stuff or whatnot in there, uh, they might be messy. But other than that, um, yeah, they're pretty good extensions. That's it for the 3 8 Let's move on to the quarter inch. I do have a Vera socket on that. Let's look at the uh, action on that. A little tight on the quarter inch. It is unlocked. Yeah, it's a little tight getting that in there. And the movement is pretty tight there. And then these are a little bit more difficult to press on the locking button there. So we're fully locked. We have the very uh, smaller one here, pretty cool. Thumb wheel it here, thumb wheel it there. Very nice locking action there. There's your wobble on it. So let's compare it to the other one. Once again, just press forward to unlock it. Here's another locking Vera. Just gotta love that because you're not gonna lose anything when you're working deep into the abyss on an engine. Nothing's gonna fall and get loose. Yeah, it's about the same on this. And we have some anvil play on there too, a little bit. Love this ratchet, this this ratchet's awesome. This thing is pretty strong for the size and nice long uh, handle there for a quarter inch. One of my favorites right there. And we have the little mini three. I got this uh, in the uh, calendar, the uh, advent calendar. A little play there, you can see. And then got a nice thumb wheel there too. So they got the, the knurling there, learn, knurling there. Nice handle there. Gotta excuse the rain here if it's uh, getting kind of loud. And we got a storm coming in. Um, and then this one came in the calendar as well. So there is two other little extensions like this. I don't believe they make longer ones with the wobble. So the wobble right here, yeah, that's on there. The wobble is kind of like a wobble plus. I don't, it has some kind of action there. So it's not wobbly here, but you pull it out, it wobbles. That may wear out over time because I don't see a shoulder here at all. No shoulder or double uh, position on the sockets. So it, it kind of does a wobble lock on it when you press it in all the way. And, and then the ball detent comes out and it turns into a wobble as you can see the ball right in there. So that's kind of cool when you press it in goes a little further and it kind of stays in there. I don't know if it'll stay there over time as it wears out, but that's kind of cool right now that these are fairly new. These are still from the calendar. So yeah, not bad. I love this little little ratchet and love the bit one too. So that's a cool one right there. These are pretty strong. The bit one, I know I've tested out. It's really strong. And let's try it out on an aftermarket one here. Here's a Tecton 80 tooth or 90 tooth, I believe. Tecton 90 and Fitment's not bad, it's also a locking, so yeah, that's cool on that one. And let's try it on the full lock mode here with everything locked. So once again, green means go, and man, that's tight. And then red means lock. You gotta press real hard on the lock, and you gotta pull up, see that? You gotta pull back a little bit to get it to lock too as well. <laughs> Um, so we're on full lock mode right here. There's your play on the Tecton. And yeah, everything's holding good on that. So there is a lot of lo locking uh, 
mix and match that do not work well. So at least here we got a good view of what works with what. And uh, let's get on to the nut cup comparison. And now the nut cup cup off. This Nut Cup Cup Off is brought to you by Miller Coops. They were kind enough to send these out. Thank you, Miller Coops. All right, first category of the Nut Cup Cup Off is color. All right, check that out. The color of the Miller Coops is nice dark blue with a green logo on the back. Check that out, it's got a purplish tint to it. If you look in the box, it is dark blue, but if you look through the nut hole, you'll see that it is a nice purple color there. The part number is 905007 dark blue, and then you enter the color of green at the end of that. That's how you find the part number for that one. And orange on that one, you'll see that it is the same part number, just put the color on the back. Gray is nowhere to be found, so keep that in mind. You are able to find the green and the orange on Amazon right now. This color will be available soon. It should be on the tool trucks now and uh, keep an eye on that in the next couple months and you will see this on Amazon. Next up, if you go to the Capri Tools website and search for a magnetic part cup or part bowl, we'll find this pair right here. Only two colors available, only available in this pair. So you're gonna have these two colors and that's it. And it is nice. You can see if there's anything inside here on this one, which is a nice glossy finish on it. Very smooth, very finished on that. And the black is hard to see anything, but you don't have to worry about it getting dirty. Next up, we have the Hazette. It is a darker blue than the Capri. The Capri is a bright one. This is the teal color on the 197-3. This is the only color available, but it's very nice, very Germanish. Next up here, we have the upside down Carlisle tools from Napa. It does have a kind of like a ashy finish to it. I don't know how long that's gonna last. It is a more of a blue color like the box of the Mueller Coops. And the box is part number 25514. And it looks like it's been sitting in the front of a Napa store for a very long time. I give this one the lowest rating on color and Highest color, uh, I'm gonna have to go to the Hazette because you know who I am and that wins the color for me. All right, next category of the Nut Cup Cup Off is Magnetic Nut Ability. Yes, we have the same action on all of them basically. Does the job. I'd say they all are the same manufacturer except for maybe the Carlisle. It seems a little bit more weaker. Basically, magnetic notability is great. All right, next category of the Nut Cup Cup Off is... Non-marring magnetic back. Yes, they all have pretty much the same magnetic backing. Nice and soft, doesn't mar anything. These are all nice and soft rubber. They don't slide around. That's what's nice about how soft they are. This one is good on that. Pretty much the same on the uh, Capri. Nice and strong, holds great on this lovely file cabinet I have them attached to. Same thing on the Hazette, but the Carlisle, losing again. We have a generic one on here and it kind of looks like it's coming off at one part. Not good, fail on the Carlisle. So once again, negative on the Carlisle. Let's go on to the next category. All right, next category of the Nut Cup Cup Off is size. Yes, we're gonna be measuring your nut cup here we're six inches here on all of them basically all the same size pretty much from the same manufacturer and the carlisle once again under six and the depth on all of them is five and a quarter i measured and the carlisle is just under five carlisle once again being the smallest nut cup all right last category of the nut cup cup off is price yes price Let's do the Mueller Coop first. Amazon price will be $33 for the pair average. Tool truck prices are different. And once again, the blue is not available yet on Amazon. Gotta keep an eye on the tool trucks first. And if you have a cool dealer, he might hook you up with a cool price. So tool truck prices may be different. So $33 for the Mueller Coops on Amazon average. Next up, we have the Capri Tools. Keep an eye on their monthly flyers. Definitely the monthly flyers have very good deals. I think there was a deal once for $200, you get these pair for free. So $30 is not bad. Free is even better. Definitely check out the Capri tools on their monthly flyers. And 
awesome to see them here. Next up, we have the Hazette 197.3 on the KC Tool website. It runs $20. Sometimes I've seen it as low as $15, so keep an eye on that one on the KC Tool website. Nice little deal for just one. And the cheapest of all is the Carlisle. And yeah, you're gonna get your price on that one for $8.99. And some service may apply, some re-gluing may apply on that one. So yeah, at the lowest price, $8.99. But uh, definitely keep an eye on the value on that one. <laughs> all right, guys. That concludes the Nut Cup Cup Off. And as you can see, there's other magnets right here. But before we get on to the other magnets, let's talk about the last few that I didn't talk about. The OEM Tools ones, I did review a while back and they were $33 for the pair. And they're gonna be similar to your Carlisle ones right there. So keep in mind, Carlisle quality on that one. And they do come in a single green for $14.99 and also orange, blue, and red. And also with the red, we have the Lyle with the red only. I didn't find any other colors on the Lyle and that one runs you $16. And now to the magnetic other systems here. We have the Craftsman, which is a collapsible, all four sided right here. You'll find these on the tool trucks as well in different sizes. First made by Easy Red, I believe, and they come in a three pack for $30 on the Easy Red. These Craftsman only sent me back ten dollars for two when they're on sale now they're up to 15. uh the silicone backing on this kind of separates a little bit and as you can see these are the magnets on the back so the magnets aren't that strong when you throw a nut on it so keep in mind they only magnetize on the areas where there is a magnet so things will fall out definitely but it's a cool idea and they flatten out so you can put them in a drawer nice and easy you can stack them up this is only one of them here this is all i have right now at the moment Pretty cool on those Easy Red, Craftsman, uh, and all the other tool truck brands. Keep an eye on, on those. Next up here, we have the socket straps from the socket strap. I actually have a discount code. I'll put it in the description for these. These are really, really strong. They have a glossy coating on the back. Put them on your lift and they don't slide around super strong. I have the gear wrench bolt biters here. Super strong hold on these. These are awesome. They remove bolts and fasteners really easy. There's a negative and a positive for each size, standard and metric, which is cool. Check those out. And these are the nano sockets, holding really strong on here from Astro Pneumatic. And here's a Capri Tool socket. Super hold on these. Put them on the side of your cart for the socket straps. Pretty cool. Nice invention here. They're made in USA, I believe, and awesome little magnetic option there last but not least we have the matco magnetic mat i believe these are old school magnets in here they're not as strong as the uh the rare earth ones but this is cool it rolls up or it flattens out like that there's three sizes available super cool check them out on your truck i believe these are made by master magnetics or magnet source or something like that so there's other brands and other tool trucks carry mats like this. This is pretty cool to have. Put them on your fender and they're super strong. They hold a wrench. Here's a Sunix 50 millimeter wrench. Pretty cool, super strong. And you can put all your tools on there. Awesome. And that concludes this video with the magnetic nut cup cup off at the end. All right, guys, I don't wanna make this video too long. Thank you for watching and on to the next. Thank you.